Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode in this let's play of Cloudpunk. When we left off in the last episode, we had been the victim of a carjacking, a hobajacking. Uh, so Control told us to come over to the Hova Mall, talk to this guy, and this guy said that we can just pick any one of these cars. So I looked it up and actually it doesn't really make a difference in terms of stats, which car you pick. So I'm going to pick the blue car, just because it looks cool. Let's do it. We got a new hover. So... Wait. I am your new Hava automata. Yeah, Please say okay. your name, sir. Install new automata custom personality. I have Ooh, it on the data nice. drive. That will be 1500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh, I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep? Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any Hava we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep, but we have a nav point and beep, the beeping is not stopping. Fine, let's just get to the nav point. Huh, maybe that's why I am not able to park. All right, let's head over to the nav point. <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm a lot like chemist these days. If something is sad, I think, you know what, maybe Maybe I'd be better off not knowing. Maybe I don't want to know. I'm especially like that with films these days and possibly even TV shows. Like if I know in advance that it's gonna be this overwhelming deluge of sadness throughout the film or the TV series or whatever, I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I don't need to, I don't need to put myself through this. What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen and the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They're holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus, now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Ooh. Good to see you're still moving, Rania. Hey, I've Lomo. You out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. 
Why right, are you I'm doing over. this? Where are you? I've taken a liking to you. Now, hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. That does not sound good. But still, thank you for busting us out from Club Sec. Get back the yellow drive plumes. I like those. pretty far. Oh, no, no, no. I can't even land to repair this thing. Actually, we don't need anything else for Evelyn. We need to go back when we... Oh, we just got the ability to land again. Damn, we could have gone back. I think we end up going back to her apartment sooner rather than later anyway. Sakura. Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. Poor Camus. Okay, Lamo. What is the deal? Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rainia. I can afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. We You've heard bad things heard about him, Rubric. I guess? I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. 
You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the Corpusek gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted, and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies. But you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the Dead Corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloud Punk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Okay. Where's the package? Hmm. Maybe they loaded it in the car while we were talking. Hmm. See, there was somebody here that warned us about Rubric. But she is not there anymore. Are you nervous? I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy rubric says the corpsec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Camus, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you understand? No. It's fine. Let's just get through the null gate, then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we don't have to pick up anything yet. We're just going through the gate. One of the things that is really interesting to me is that since this game came out, people have Camus-like automatas now. With the advent of large language models, I remember reading a couple of months ago, it was around the time that GPT-3 came out, um, there were... Uh, wait. I've forgotten the name of the service, but there was a service essentially where you could have um, an intimate chatbot, a chatbot that would act as a, a boyfriend or girlfriend. And it was, I don't know, like there was, there was some change that took place and basically you could engage in like erotic 
role play with these um, with these bots but they tweak the language model at some point so that uh, users could no longer engage in erotic roleplay. Ooh, there's the null gate. So yeah, they tweaked the large language model and people were freaking out. Um, and there were a lot of posts. I think it was, maybe it was called Replica or something like that. And you know, there was a subreddit about it, and the subreddit was was blowing up. People were people were heartbroken, legitimately. Um, they felt like they had lost, lost, uh, lost something very near and dear to them, and it was very sad. Uh, yeah, and I think that's. I don't know, man. I. I really like Camus and I really bond with Camus and I I think it's it's not too far off where we will have I don't know, it's like right now I use ChatGPT to help me with coding sometimes, like I think a lot of programmers do. But I imagine not too far from now you'll have uh, an LLM that helps you with your tasks, but also has a personality. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty wild. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll bookmark this video and come back to it in five or 10 years and see if I have my own Camus. Also very similar to Joy in the, in the Blade Runner sequel. Anyway, let's go through this null gate and see what happens? Do I need to speak to this guy first? Hello, my friend. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well... I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. This all you got? No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please hey, stay for a moment. I like Miss. viola. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have senior sector officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, Miss, I just work the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be upfront and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. 
Let's go. All right, let's get out of here. Do you think the corpse sec man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. This place is a little creepy. Okay, we found the parking. Hopefully we don't the get a project point is here. Up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. Let me get the shinies. My god, the atmosphere here is amazing. Man, this game is... More games should be like this. This game is incredible. Are you reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. All right, so we are exploring the ruins. Uh, it looks like we might find something here. terminal let's see maybe I can just type in give me a ticket out of here Rania wait how do you know my name can you I know you this is too strange are you the computer that gives out parking tickets I am Cora why do people keep saying that name I am Cora sure whatever can I get out of this car park now I am not as I once was same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Navalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change, the distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be, and soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. The gate is open. What, really? 
Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. I think that is actually Korra. Rania, you were a little bit oblivious this time. I think... Look at the vibes. Look at the vibes, Rania. Wait, let's back up. Look at the vibes. This is absolutely Korra. I'm sure Camus will know when we tell him. Are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. but I would like to repurchase some of the upgrades that I had. So let's head over to a garage. Hey kid. Hey, Rania, are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Yes, please. Drunk? If only. I, I can't drink anymore. can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries? You're making waves? surviving it's all good Rania come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package all right that sounds good we'll stop off by Rania's apartment first and see if we can uh, get some memories back for Evelyn with all of those punch cards that hey we've been control collecting. I got stuck in the hollows and what were you doing down there I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI, or the city algorithms, or damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get Ooh. some good reviews or something? A few. Premium. Can you tell me who? I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you mediocre that's about what I expected from them what's this fancy job then you're meeting a CEO delivering to the spire wait Ooh. what really the spire maybe we'll actually get to see this guy When 
when I have a bit more time, I would really like to play around with large language models myself. If you, um... If Should we get something to eat? We? Huh? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food, food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the hava frame? No, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Hmm. Maybe ramen. But let's talk to Evelyn first. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizic was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizic knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with the standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it Ooh. will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time and more punch cards. Please more bring me any you find. Another 20 punch cards? Maybe that's why I never finished this quest. Who the hell is Gaz Goodtime? What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Uh, I do want the sunglasses. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, late. Wait, did I have? Oh, I don't have them on. How can I equip all of these? Ah, how can I equip these things? Where? Oh, and I can wear the blue shirt. Uh, okay, well, I got the shades. Thank you, guys. Good time. Uh, get something to eat. Alright, we'll go to our local place. Around the corner. Food mood. But. Wait, there's nobody at food mood. Mm, maybe here? Here's what I can offer you today. Mm, too spicy. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you. Like Rania, I am also a brown person who does not handle spice so well. But you know what? I have come to realize that if and when you eat spicy food, you should not, in fact, try and wash away the spices with water. What you should do is wash them away with milk or eat a banana. Works every time. But you know what, like if ever you go to a restaurant that serves spicy food, they will never, they will never serve you a glass of milk with it. I think they should. If I ever open a restaurant that serves spicy food, I will make sure that glasses of milk are served alongside. All right, so, hmm. Where should we go to eat? Well, why don't we head towards Lower Midtown and Cloudpunk HQ? 
Uh, yeah, they've got some food there. So I want to say earlier, if you um, if you have come to these videos on this YouTube channel through watching my programming related videos, you may know that I also run a service called Notado.app, and actually I created this service as a place to to store all of my information that I find interesting that I read online or in digital books or you know just a general information store that is quickly and easily searchable and I, I, I was very very frustrated with typical bookmarking apps like you know Pinboard, Readwise, Instapaper that sort of stuff because they all focused on saving like links and not so much on saving content you know like what is the point of having a huge list of bookmarks if you can't even remember why you bookmarked something in the first place anyway I built out Notado and I have been using it since 2020 I guess And I would really like to apply a large language model to all of my data in there. I just need to find the time to figure out how to tune or fine tune or whatever the hell you do to large language models so that it can look through everything that I have saved and I can just like query it with questions or it can, you know, provide context to other stuff that I'm working on. That would be cool. All right, food mood. What should we get? Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Crispy meat soup. Much sweet. Uh, all right, let's do this. Not bad. Yeah, let's get the candy as well. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. All right, now let's go and pick up this package. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. Yeah, there's something very special about the way people can bond Do over food. Up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Sorry, Camus, but you are good people. I hope we get you a body very people soon. People just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow!
also finally figured out how to use a video editing software, so I ended up going with um, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, because I had a, an Amex offer on that. Um, oh, the offer is good for three months. I'm not sure I'm going to continue using it for three months or past three months, but you know, I fired up DaVinci Resolve. It was it was kind of difficult. Maybe I just need to sit down and watch some tutorials about how to use it, but the UI for doing, you know, something basic like adding a text overlay and then adding a, uh, a voiceover track was, it was really simple and really intuitive. So I managed to get that done for the last video and upload that. But you know what, when I did the export from Premiere Pro, the file size ballooned by like 10 gigs so it took it took longer than usual for the for the video to get uploaded i also realized that when i am recording in obs everything is going to a single audio track because i am taking the output from wavelengths stream output but ideally what i need to figure out how to do is to get my mic output and my game output on separate tracks then i can listen back and if one of the tracks is too high or too low then i can adjust the mix and you know it gives me a lot more in the way of post processing possibilities and i can salvage a bad video like my first sekiro video the sound is so off like, you, you just can't hear anything I'm saying for the first 10-15 minutes of the video. So I would like to figure out how to do that, but also keep all of the, the VST plugins that I'm using on the mic. I'm not using that many, but yeah, more things to learn. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? That's very specific. Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well... That means trouble, so get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh yeah, uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No, blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? And if they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Oh wow, that's a little grim. But that is actually <laughs> um, a lot like how I feel about any corporate code base I have ever worked on. Yeah, 
I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna write down that conversation because it is yeah that is exactly how it feels like to work on a corporate code base especially as a platform engineer <laughs> There we go. This is the Vink tube or the Vinculum Ascender. Camus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to. I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. Oh, I wanted to see the whole. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see us going but up. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say, this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android, or even a person. If they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Oh, I'm sorry, Control. That's sad. Ooh, stars. Oh, yeah, we're we're still playing at night time it's not yet the morning i would also like to see Navalis, like uh, a story take place in Navalis through the course of a day that would be cool uh, damn spire is big all right, let's go and get those two items quickly. Yeah, I need to start wrapping up this episode soon. We have a meeting in 15 hey, minutes. You see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. I should tell the falconer. So he can get his falcon back. It's very nice how all of these stories connect up through, uh, through the course of the game. It is... It's very reflective of my experience making friends in Seattle and just, I think making friends anywhere and getting to know a city, how everything fits together. It's really nice. It's done very, very well. 
The CEO came down to get the delivery. I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Rude. All right, man, go and choke on your Is pizza. Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't no, know. No, we should change the sign. That is a very good idea, Camus. You are a good doggo. Oh, I want to know what you changed. Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature of the prank. Which words? I replaced organ with pineapple. <laughs> oh, this is amusing. I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh yes, vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples, but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality prank. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Chemis. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for it. That was a very good, high-quality prank, Rania. I approve. Uh, do I have time to talk to Don V? Yeah. Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your mm -hmm. question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entech says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day, in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the seat. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Thank you, Don V. That was very cash money of you. Alright, I think that's a good place to wrap up this episode. So, if you are enjoying this Let's Play as much as I am enjoying playing this Let's Play, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know how much you're enjoying it, if there are any cool NPCs that I have missed, also let me know in the comments if this game is resonating with you, and you, like I think, but more so than being a cyberpunk story, 
this game is an excellent take on the immigrant experience? Let me know in the comments. That is it for this episode. This is the end of the video. And I hope that whatever you do today, you have a very, very nice day. Goodbye.